Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my closet and we are going to be going through all of these things that are hanging back here and transfer them over from my more warm weather clothes to my winter clothes. So if you'd like to see my tips and tricks on this, stay tuned. <music> start with the fact that my jeans are over here. As you can tell, they're a mess. There's ones hanging, they're falling all over. That's a mess. That's a whole nother video that I will be doing after this. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to start with these top shelves up here. The first hack I have for you guys is I change over my closet twice a year. First time I change it over is usually right around springtime and then generally I do around fall time. Those are my two big season changes. And not only am I changing my clothes out so that it's more accessible to get to the items that I'll need during that season, the other great thing about when you're turning your closet over from one season to the other is it gives you the opportunity to go through and determine what items you really wore, used, and loved from the previous season. So I'm gonna jump right in starting up here and I'll show you what items are gonna be on my Poshmark after I've gone through this. So I've completed the first section fairly quickly and I've determined what of these items I grabbed for and wore last season. Some of the items that I have not is this cami simply because it's more of an ivory than a white and I don't tend to grab for it. Then this tank top that has a little lace detailing, eyelet detailing down at the bottom. We have just a asymmetrical top that I just don't tend to grab for. This is a overlay that you have to wear a tank top underneath. We have this cute little peasant top, another type of kind of see-through top that I just don't tend to grab for those. And then we've got a gray asymmetrical same type. And this one, I was kind of debating back and forth, so I'm gonna keep it off to the side and make a decision on that. But all of those other items are gonna be showing up on my Poshmark, and I will link that down below. Now I'm gonna move over into this section, and this just tends to be more like sleeveless type t-shirts. So in that section, it was pretty easy. I only had two tops that I was taking out of it. And I really was just taking this one out because I'm going to make it into a workout shirt. And this is the only one from this area that's going up on Poshmark. So now I'm going to make my way down here. But another good reason to pull these out is this was a shirt I was debating about. And this one has a little purple stain on the back of it. So I'm first going to see if I can get that out. If not, it's going to be donated. So now I'm going to jump down here to long sleeve t-shirts, make decisions on these, and I'll show you which items are going to be going up for sale. about six items that are going to go up. The first one is a free people shirt. Um, one of those thermals. This is another free people thermal. Um, then I have a babu. It's a twist front tie top. We have a cupcakes and cashmere kind of oversized shirt. Yeah, I just don't grab for that one. Then a BP sweater type t-shirt. And then this one is by Lulu's Basics. And it's kind of one of those bat wing t-shirts. Only one I was debating back and forth about is this Free People, same version as the black one, but in that blue, because I really love the color. I'm gonna leave this out and think about it. These are just basic t-shirts, kind of like the one I have on now. These are kind of a staple of my wardrobe because I love to throw them on with cardigans and things like that. First, I'm gonna move these sneakers because they're in my way, determine which ones I still wear and which ones I don't. I don't wear these Pumas. I only wore them a few times. It's unfortunate. Those will go on my Poshmark. All right, I'm only keeping two pairs of these down here. Uh, the Pumas will go up for sale. I have two other pairs of black ones that are just really old and beat up. So I'm just going to go through my t-shirts kind of quick. I have a couple t-shirts, just some basic white t-shirts that I don't One is Old Navy. One is American Eagle. This one still has tags on it. One is from Lush, which actually looks like it has some fading to it. So that one's going to go in the donations. Another Castellan one and another Castellan one. So four t-shirts are going to be going up. Um, I do have my hats in through here. I'm going to go through, just make sure I'm keeping all of them kind of quickly. Baseball hats are a staple for me. So I'm going to set them right over here. 
And now what I'm going to do, since we've gone through all of this, I'm going to actually pull everything out in the order it is in. I'm going to show you the winner stuff. Do the same thing. Go through it and determine, do you think it's something you're really going to wear this year? And then I'm going to move everything over. If you haven't yet noticed, another hack or tip that I have is I actually keep clothing likes with likes. So I keep all the shorter sleeves and camis, like dressier tops through here, t-shirts or tank t-shirts up here, regular t-shirts and long sleeve shirts. And then again, likes with likes, I keep white and I work all the way to black. It makes it easier when I need to grab something. I know what type of top I'm going for, so I know where I'm going. And then I know what color I'm looking for, so I look in that area of what I would like with the outfit. This little hack takes a while to get used to, but once you do, guys, it will make getting ready so much quicker and easier. So I'm going to pull everything out now and go through and clean these off a little bit. Right, guys so now we're gonna jump over to this side and this is my closet where I keep the items I don't grab for as often but I still want to have access to so when I open that up right now what that entails is these are sweaters that are up here long sleeve shirts sweatshirts these ones down here I actually only have the whites creams grays and blacks and up here I have all my colors just because of the way it fit in the closet and then over on this side, I have all of my cardigans are right up here. And down here are sweatshirts that are like hooded sweatshirts, things like that. So I'm going to go over on this side, go through my cardigans, which is probably one of my favorite things. But I have a lot of long cardigans, so they're going to probably stay in the closet here, but I haven't determined that yet. So I'm going to go through these real quick. So there was not one cardigan that I wanted to get rid of. Kind of crazy. We're going to jump back over to this side and see what we think of these ones. I'm going to start with the blouses that start right here at the white. Again, it's very easy to find where a new item starts or a new area starts by the coloring that I do. Now, keep in mind, also, I cleaned this out at the last season when I changed it over. So a lot of times on this part, there isn't as much that I'm getting rid of. So I'm going to jump in, starting with the blouses, and go through them. So that was pretty easy, but I did find three items that I'm going to get rid of. The first one is this top here. It's kind of flannel and floral, very cute, tunic length. Then this color I just don't grab for. I love, love, love this shirt, but this color I don't grab for in it. And then just a simple button down. I have two of them in stripes that are similar to this. So this is the one that I grab for the least. So I'm going to slide all that over and then I'm going to start with the colored sweaters and then I'm going to work my way down to the other sweaters on the bottom, but, we're, but I'm gonna start up here. There are only two items here that I'm getting rid of. One of them is kind of a sweater slash sweatshirt. It's oversized. I just don't tend to grab for it. And then this one is a really long with a zipper. Um, it's almost tunic length. It zips on both sides. It's a dark blue sweater. I love the color, but I don't grab for this. All right, now we're going to go through these lighter and like light through gray through black sweaters. So I have two sweaters that are going to be going up. This is a Vince Camuto. It's super soft, very sweet, but I just don't grab for it. And then a longer, this is a Caslon kind of high, low rounded sweater. I think I just changed my mind on this one. Just something about this. I, with leggings, I think I need to keep it. So this will be the only one going up. All right, I'm going to run through sweatshirts on this side. They're basically just like hooded sweatshirts or crew neck sweatshirts. Just cozy, you know? Just things that are more casual and cozy. All right, we've got four over on this side. We've got a ruffled sweatshirt an adidas sweatshirt i don't ever grab for this i think it's cute but i just don't and then two of the castellan burnout sweatshirts i just don't wear them that often anymore then i'm going to move up here to this section these are just zip sweatshirts and those type of things that are just comfy that's it there's one 
that I don't grab for that I think is going to go up. This one is a, who makes this? Oh, Under Armour. Just zip sweatshirt. I just don't ever grab for it. Now that I've pulled everything out of this that I don't want, and I've already pulled everything out of these and cleaned them off, I can take the items from this closet to the outside area and put them where I want, and I'll show you when I'm done. switched out. I now have kind of tank style t-shirts up here along with kind of like camis and like dressier style of like tops up here. And then down here I have t-shirts and sweatshirts. I made the sweatshirts a little bit easier to get to. And then I kept the um, zip up sweatshirts up at the top. And then I'm going to show you over here. All right, guys, so over here I now have all of kind of the lighter colored sweaters up on this part. I then have blouses and more button down type of things up here. Then down here at the bottom, I kept more colorful in through black sweaters. And then over here, I have long sleeve t-shirts, which I tend to grab for more than the short sleeve ones in through these seasons. I still do have a few other closets to clean out. I have a coat closet, winter coat closet, and then I also have a coat and dresses closet. So if you would like to see those, please put a comment down below letting me know which one you want to see next. All right, guys, so that is my closet. It is now organized, cleaned out, and ready to go for the next season. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are interested in any of the items you saw, check out my Poshmark page. It is LisaSZ09 as well. But to get directly to that closet, I will put the link down below. And I hope you guys got some tips or tricks from this video and I hope you guys got some fun tips or tricks on how to change your closet over from season to season. If you enjoy videos like this go check out my last one where I cleaned out my shoe closet and I also do test out new products every Tuesday so check that out as well. And if you are new to my channel and you are not yet subscribed I would love if you click the photo of me right there and follow along here on my channel. And as always guys thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye!